Hello you wonderful people. In this video we're going to be looking at how to install Tailwind CSS into our Symfony 7 application. We will be using Flowbyte which is essentially um, a collection of UI components uh, that's built on top of Tailwind as it states on their website here. We have a public repository that you can have a look at if you want to follow along in this series. So let's dive in. Let's have a look at the code. So for example, so let's dive in. So if we go over to our project, we have a essentially a skeleton project with one endpoint. Uh, which is pointing to the app index template. I copied an application shell block um, and if you show the code, you can copy that. Um, so because we have the server running, we can go over to our application and have a look. And as you can see, it's it's complete nonsense at the moment. It doesn't really look very good. So we'll know when Tailwind has been installed because this will actually look decent. So let's start. The first thing we want to do is head over to Packagist and we want to search for the Tailwind bundle, uh, or not tail, Tailwind. Um, and the SymphonyCast Tailwind bundle is the one we want. So if we hit that in, and there we go, that's installed. So back over to Packagist and we want to look for the Flowbyte bundle uh, from Tales from a Dev. Uh, copy that and install. And there we go. And we want to run the recipes um, on the installation. So now we need to head over to our config, packages, twig, and inside of there we need to add in this form themes, oops, a daisy, this form themes uh, tag. You can change this to whichever one you want if you want the dark one, um, but at the moment we'll keep it like that. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is we need to run bin console tail wind in it like so and this will install a bunch of things that we need for tailwind to work um, so as you can see it's added in a tailwind config anyway next we need to have a look at our CSS and as you can see it's pulled in the tailwind stuff that's needed and now what we need to do is we need to run uh, bin console import require flow byte like so and there we go so now we can go over to the app JS file and we can import flow byte Oops, if I spell it correctly, flow byte, like so. Okay, so that's that. And the last thing we need to do is run bin console tailwind build dash dash watch. And this will watch our CSS and JavaScript for any changes and we'll rebuild it. Right, so now if we go back over to our thing, refresh it, and as you can see, it's working. And we also have the JavaScript enabled, so any JavaScript will also function as expected. My name is Kerry Newham, and this has been Dev. <laughs>